We got three dogs back there. Louie, you're laying down. I'm going to put Mr. Albus's muzzle on because we're going to do some off-leash um, running about. A little hiking, not a lot of obedience, but just a lot of running around, a little bit of a recall, making sure he doesn't do anything weird with dogs. That's why he'll have his muzzle on. And of course, I have the e-collar, so I'm going to get out of the car now. And none of them are tied back. They've learned just to stay back there, which I like. All right, he's got his muzzle on. He got a jacket on because it's another cold Colorado morning. You guys, so this I don't like. No, no, I, I, this is my barrier. Good. Sometimes movement helps me get them to look at me because they can't go until they, no, they can't go until they look. All of them together. Oh, and there's birds in the trees. Good, you move that foot back. Here comes a human. Hello. Morning. We'll just wait until this person goes back. I don't care that they're sitting or stand, but if it's helpful for you and your dog, have them sit. Because to me, if they're in a sit, they're less likely to get up and... <laughs> no! Stop! No, lady. How are you today? Got the whole gang like you. Yeah. Look, no! Quit! Quit it! Quit! 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 You be quiet. You be quiet. Lady, you be quiet. Break! All right, here we go. Watch the ice. So that was a quit event for that girl. I'll tell more to the owners about that. There's always different levels of that. Come on, you guys, let's go. All right, so I always assume, because it's off in my experience, is 99% of dogs out here are super nice. And all I'm going to do with this guy is yell H-E-Y. Or, I'm uh, sorry, nope. Come on, let's go. If he um, does anything, and if he does anything, I'll yell quit and I'll just zap him. Good boy. Yeah, you can check in. Hi, how are you? Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Oh, you're going to just snow bathe. Kind of a narrow path right here. Oh, he's a, a blue Picard, blue Picard, Picardi Spaniel. Good, Louie. I mean, uh, Albus. Good boy, Louie, you too. Hi, Are these Britneys? Yes. Yeah. I rescued just that. Hey, quit. Quit it. Yeah, quit it. Quit it. Okay. You're doing the right thing. Yeah. Getting him out with a muzzle? I had this one when I first got him. You got to stop that, dude. Because I, I think he protected his sister living on the street. Hey, every time a dog would even growl at him on the trail, he'd just immediately start fighting. Oh. And you couldn't stop him. You had to grab him. Yeah. Well, this is this guy. He hasn't really been around other male dogs yeah. in years. And that's of. the male issue thing. Yeah. I had him proud he's been around a few, he seems but to, not a ton. He's well, gotten a lot better. And I think he's good. getting good. used to being on these trails with other... He loves yeah. other dogs. Yeah. So he's just like, oh, I don't have to fight with all these guys. Hey, lady, drop. No. I don't know what that is, but just don't do that. God, this good. Is beautiful. Good. Beautiful. Yeah, Blue Picardi, I think it's called. Blue, Blue Picardi. Picardi Spaniel. Yeah. Good boy. Come on, break. You don't have to be all freak, freak zoidish. <laughs> How long have you had him, the one with the muzzle? Oh, good. Good. You don't have to hang out by me. Well, I You're a good dog. Good, 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 good. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. No. Come on, let's go. We're not going to hide. We're not going to hide, but you're not going to do anything bad. Hello. Break. I'll let you guys go by. Hi, handsome dog. She's pretty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you guys enjoy your hike. Yeah, thanks. What's her name? Her name's Gunny. Hi, Gunny. She's cute. I know, right? Oh, you're not so sure, lady. <laughs> Who's up there hooting? Somebody's hooting and hollering. Oh, how funny. Yeah. Hi, Gunny Girl. Have a good one. Good, good. Let's go, bud. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go with your friends up there. Good boy, Louie. Good girl. Lady. Good boy. Alice, 
So this is a new trail for Lady and Albus. I mean, sorry, good boy. Lady and Louie. Let's go, let's go. But Albus has been here before and he's just like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do. So what he's doing is he's seeing dogs and I said N-O-P-E to him. I didn't even use the e-collar. He just immediately like, oh God. And I think I said, nope, maybe I said quit. I'm not sure. I don't remember what I said, but you can rewind and see what I said. But he just stopped what he was doing and then he gets clingy and he just stays by me. So something the owner might have to do is sort of be like, come on, let's go. Go, go, go. Get on up there. And get him on up there with the other dog that they have. And then he stops like, I don't know what to do. You're a good boy. Oh, you're so good, lady. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go see the world. Good boy, Louie up there. Good boy, Mr. Louie. Hey, Louie. Lady. Come. Come on, dogs. Good. So good. So good. So good. Let's go. Break. So I said let's go because I didn't make him sit or heel. And then I just threw in a break. And the, the owner should really be trying to mimic how I say things. High-pitched break. Break. Yes. Pretty high-pitched. Everything else is usually sit, down, come, heel. More monotone, lower-toned command and inflection from my voice and the reason being the lower tone like hey lady sit lady sit albus sit no no sit good sit good low tone good i don't want to add excitement to that good break but that i do let's go oh here comes some more britneys yeah, there's some dogs. We're going to say hi to them. Let them go say hi first. Let's let them go say hi first. And then I'll say hi to the humans. And we'll see what everybody does. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hey, lady. Stop. How are you? Maybe I'll... You know what? You don't have to bark, sweetie. <laughs> Hi, honey. Good. Yeah, good. good. Have a good walk. Very good. Sweetie. Yeah, I just met the other two and talked to him oh, for a little bit. Oh, very good. So they're yeah. still out there someplace. Oh, no, I think they're at the trailhead by now. Have a good one. Yeah. Good boy, Elvis. So good. Good girl, lady. So that's lady's little nervous Nelly part. The like owners are going to have to keep working on that, and you're just the champion of them all. You just... Go out and meet everybody. You're the dog champion. Let me champion the breeds and the dogs, the four-legged furry guys. That's Louie's job. Come on, let's go. These two can learn from his happy-go-lucky demeanor. Go get some water. Get some water. And one thing about these muzzles, Baskervilles, you can drink out of them. He can even eat the snow. Well, we're on a snow bridge. How exciting. What do you think, Louie? What do you think, Louie? What do you think, Louie? What do you think, bud? Come on, Louie. Come on, get your feet wet. Come on. Oh, yeah, that's it. Brr. Good boy, Louie. Good girl, lady. Oh, you guys are good dogs. Such good dogs. And so when he does this, go on. When he gets a little nervous, he doesn't have to lean on me. No, I... And because a lot of, I think... Probably is what's going to happen with the owner when he goes home. He's just used to being next to the owner and probably being super growly and guardy near the owner. And I don't know if it's necessarily guarding or just the fearful sort of aggression that he does towards other dogs. But the combination of him doing that and being insecure and standing next to his owner and leaning on his owner can make for a bad combination. Oh, did you just fall on the ice there, bud? That's pretty funny. Did you just fall on the ice? Is it cold, Louie? Oh, boy. Look at you go. Good boy. Come on this way, Louie. Wonder how long this snow bridge will last. Good boy. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Louie, let's go. Louie, let's go. His nose knows. Louie, come. Good boy, buddy. 
Louie, come. Louie, sit. Good. Break. All right. Let's go, you guys. Good boy. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Look at those happy dogs, happy tails. Come on, Albus. Let's go. So he needs some of that encouragement. Go up there. You're fine. You don't need to wait for me all the time. Yeah, you don't need to wait. Go up there with Lady. Let's go get Lady. Come on, let's go. Oh, there's a good Louis. There's a good Louis. And there's the Huntress. Miss Lady. Lady. Lady, are you a hunter? Let's go. Lady, let's go. Let's go. Come on. So sometimes dogs just put themselves in the heel like he did. And um, and then I had to say B-R-E-A-K because all of a sudden he's just back in the heel. Break! I didn't put him in it, but I... Come on, let's go! Go, 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 go! I want him to be free with these other pups. Come on, Lady, let's go! Come on, let's go, Louie! So Lady was just looking at this and nervous about it. Lady! So I... Come on! Come on! So I was just trying to get her to not be nervous about it. Like, just show her things. Good girl. Let's go. Break. Um, and that's something the owners can do with her is just keep her uh, growing her confidence. Oh, you're so good. Um, and what that means is if, if, if you see her looking nervous about something, then take her back and show her that it's not a big deal. Come on, let's go. Go on. Go play with her. Albus, go on. I know you can't really do much with the muscle on, but that's a good thing. Come on, let's go. You like her. Good boy, Albus. Hey, lady, don't pull on that. Lady, don't pull on the muzzle. Come on, let's go. Break. Yeah. Good. Lady, I don't know if he's into it. Come on. Go play with Louie, maybe. So there's different levels of obedience work that I do when I'm out with dogs. Minimal when I'm an off-leash hike, but I definitely still practice it. River trail work on flexi leads or on a traffic leash where they're doing kind of 50-50. Um, you know, 50% heel and obedience work and then the rest is like a free-for-all. And then when I'm in town or really busy areas, with a lot of people and dogs, not at a dog park, but like in a public area, then I'll do a lot more structured obedience work. But that's like big picture. That's how I keep dogs going. Um, here comes a human. I don't see a dog. I will say hi. So like this kind of stuff is we'll just pull them in every now and then. If they were to go up to these people, I would practice obedience. Louie, come. Lady, come. Hello. Come on, Louie. Oh, sorry. Come on. Come. They get all excited. Louie, come here. Yeah. Good. Break. Have a good walk. You know, I could have asked for a sit. Could have put him in a heel. But I just did a recall and got him off the trail. Let's go. And that's how I use obedience when I'm off leash hiking. Because there's a real thing happening and I need to use some obedience. But if you don't practice it very much, then you don't get it. So again, that's big picture, end game, long game of what I do, but you've got to do more of that in the inter intermediary, getting to that point, which I have done with these dogs. The owners will have to do some of that for sure, like a, more of that, more practicing obedience off leash when people aren't walking. So then like I would need to be, Louie, come, lady, come, Albus, come. I just toned her. She came back because I said it once and she didn't come. Hey, Louie, sit. Sit. Lady, sit. Good. Practice obedience when nobody's around but you're off leash. So then when you do have people around or especially dogs around, you can get it. But the end game is only use it when you really need it. But these dogs are going to go home needing to practice some of this, a lot of, not a lot, but definitely a big chunk of obedience when they're off leash, when nothing's going on. So that way they can ensure that they get it when the distractions are around. Nope. Louie, sit. Good. Stay. Stay. Break. Let's go. Check in with these pups. Hope you guys are having a good day. Bye.